Hi, today we're going to show you how to manually input pulses on a new vintage speedometer with 4 and 6 pin connectors. This is commonly used when you need to manually input the pulses for a specific pulse count for a GPS uh, speed sender or if you already know the pulse count. Um, it's, it's really up to you. It's, it's set up to be very flexible. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to enter the boot menu and we do that by holding in the button while turning on the key. The odometer will say hello. We're going to scroll to PPGN high, program high, wait four seconds. And as you see, each number flashes. You can input anything from 3,500 up to 150,000 pulses. Um, and as each number flashes, all we need to do to change it is just tap the button. So we'll set this to 15,900. And then as the next number flashes, we're just going to hold in the button. The speedometer will reset. I'll say done. Reset, and we're all set. Now, and sometimes when you're going through that function, sometimes the numbers will count up. What that's usually from is from a button with a dirty contact. Uh, the way you can alleviate that is by using a, uh, a different button, or sometimes what we'll do is we'll put a small capacitor on there to, to inhibit that. Uh, in a field situation, you can just remove the button and ground the white wire directly, uh, acting as a button. Uh, all this button is is a, a ground contact switch, so you can do that as well. So hopefully that will help get you going, and uh, thanks for watching.